Greetings and salutations, everyone. Dick Novlith here. I'm going to go uh, on the last leg of our journey here. So we are going to go into the castle here. Basically, this guy is super evil now. Guess, well, okay, so in the beginning of the game, in, like the little text scroll, it does say that this King Bagnerius... Bagnerius... Uh, it says he was warlike anyway, so... I don't know. Maybe it was inevitable? Okay, anyway. Let's just not deal with any of these guys right now. That is... So, before we were already weak compared to what the game thinks we should be at, uh, defense and health-wise, things take a rather nasty turn once you go here. It's, it, these guys are incredibly strong. Oh gosh, okay, hang on. This could take a while. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. Anyway, if you go talking around to some of the guys there, they'll talk about how the front door of this castle is locked, but there's a secret uh, door in the back, which I guess isn't really so secret. Like, you just go back here towards the ocean. It's fine. Now, what's great about this castle is that this can be entirely confusing as to which way you are going in a battle. There is, if you look over here, there's a spirit there. It's just, you go all the way around this, I don't know, patio? You want to go through this door, but if you go all the way around, you can get that spirit. We really don't need it. Not at this point, at least. So, pretty much every corridor, every room looks the same here. It's fantastic. There's all these knights. The nice part about red, the Red Rose Knights is that... Uh, they don't have quite the range that the white knights do but what uh the red knights can deal a lot of damage very quickly all right and this is this is getting interesting all right as long as you don't get lost use the compass if you have to to figure out which way you're going uh, there we go i do like how there's this whole room downstairs that they decided to to render in because you're like oh look it's like there's the front gates there's no other door by the way as far as i can tell there's just absolutely zero doors in this room which i'm like i get it because you weren't planning on having them go through the front door anyway but that's kind of the reason why it can't be a secret door anymore because your only way into the castle proper is to go through the back door so it's just, I don't know. It would have been nice if they just honestly just designed a door. Because it wasn't like the doors are going to work. I don't know. Maybe I'm picky. There's a lot of things to actually be picky about this game, to be honest. And I'm picking probably something that's not significant. It just would have been a nice detail. Alright, keep on going. Uh, yes, treasure chests galore. Now, there are some rooms here. This one, I believe, contains a spirit, like in that corner over there. Yeah, I think that's it. There might be another treasure chest, but it's not important. If you get lost, just remember you're going away. You're going, uh, the side of the door you want to go out is away from the treasure chest, if you get confused. If you move past the treasure chest after going out of that door, you're going the wrong way. Of course, you'll figure it out. Because you'll go back into the top room and you're like, whoops. Anyway, this is where we want to be. Just like these little cannon mounts. And they're just overlooking the wall here. They don't actually... Again, this is another nitpicky thing. But it's not like they actually look through like a window. They're just facing a wall. Maybe I'm being harsh. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh. It should be... There's a... Hang on. No, okay. One of the checks if something was there or not. And then we go left, yes. Maybe the wall slide back in the cannons come out. That's probably what it is. Technology at its finest. So, this is actually... 
It's actually a long part of the game, but as long as you don't get a lot of encounters, you'll actually just fly by through this relatively quickly. So we'll just keep on moving along. Ugh. I think I'm running and saying that, okay. Yeah, see, that's what I mean. Those guys, they get in range, they hurt. A lot. You have to use magic. Heal. Always heal just to max in this area. Don't even bother. Like, just use up all the MP you've got if you have to. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Alright. Not so bad, but if all three of those hit, it could be disastrous. Wait for the camera. Just keep on moving. Don't even bother to smell the roses. Not that there are any. Okay. So this room, this is actually a boss room, which is... It's interesting because it doesn't really give, give way to the fact that this is a boss room, other than the fact that the door is differently colored. What you want to remember is that you're going south, towards the red dot. This is guilty here. He's just... He's like, ah, I, I'm... It's like, I'm an experiment, you're an experiment, we all experiment on a daily basis. Anyway, so what you want to do is find Magic Barrier, first of all. There you go. And this is a true battle of endurance. So he's got two attacks, really. He's got that claw attack, and then he's got a close-range Nova attack, I believe. And just... Cast Avalanche. That's exactly what I don't need to happen. Anyway. Now I'll go this way. Positioning is important here. Okay. That was good. So well, now he wants to go in. Ooh, okay. That is actually very useful. I, mm, I cast the wrong spell. That was fine. Okay. There we go, magic barrier first. Alright. I'm gonna cast an avalanche. Okay. I need the game to stop making me miss with my spells. It would be beautiful. Alright, now I'm going to heal up. Don't use the full MP recovery yet. The camera gets a little confused as to which way it should be facing sometimes. That's normal. Okay, two hits. I need preferably three. Alright. Nope. Nope. Just gotta do this carefully. We just don't make any more mistakes like we did last time. Oh, that was good. Four hits is astoundingly awesome. Need more like that. Alright. Would have had three hits, but it's fine. Alright. I am actually going to take a heal. Since it's going to go away anyway, but I think all I have are... Yep, all I have are the Ketlin potions. So, that's fine. Because I can heal with magic after the fight if it comes to that. Nope, nope. Think about what we're doing. There we go, magic barrier. Alright. Two hits, come on. Give me more. I should probably do an MP heal, actually. I've got, yep. Full recovery MPs, good, alright. That's all I need. Oh gosh, okay, hold on. Please don't miss. There's always a small chance that Magic Barrier can miss, and it is the worst thing that could happen to anybody. Alright, cast an avalanche and then we'll heal. Okay, game. That could have been the killing bow. Could have been it. Decided not to be helpful, though. Oh, there's an MP40 recovery. To be fair, doesn't make a lot of difference right now because, well, we don't have that much MP, and we never will. 
Okay. Now that's truly the scariest part. I'm actually like... I'm just like, I'm praying so much when I have to recast Magic Barrier. Stop missing, please! Oh, gosh. I need to heal, but I can't. Mm. I gotta take the heal. Yeah, if you hit me with that attack, I'm actually not as bad. It's not as bad as it could be. Okay. Now we're moving. That might be too close, but it's fine. Alright. I don't know how this guy's still alive. But he is... He is really trying hard to kill me. Okay. Please work. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So unless if he misses, I'm dead. <gasps> I was... all Okay, hang on. This is the worst. This is the worst thing to happen right now. Oh, I do have an MP10 recovery. Where did I get that? Okay. Hold up. This is... This is about as bad as it gets. So we keep our range. HP full recovery. Oh, I got one of those. Sweet. Okay. Please stop moving. Please stop moving. Okay. Now we'll do magic barrier. Okay. I was full on ready to reset this whole video based on that. Holy crap. All right. I was really hoping for a kill there. Okay. But I gotta take another MP. Or another HP heal, cause... Um... Hang on. Yep, okay, so... This is fine. We're using all our HP stuff. Nope, nope. Okay, there's Magic Barrier. So at this point, we are on our last legs, and the game is just... come on. Alright, now or never. Oh gosh, I missed like several times, but I still have Magic Barrier up. Alright, come on game. Gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's... Let's never do that again. Alright. So, this is fine. This is all fine. Just, ugh. I honestly, I can't believe that. Somehow, that worked. Like, the health boost is nice, but I mean, we are in serious trouble at this point. was legitimately a close call. Okay. I would have gone smoother had I scored a lot more hits, though, that's for sure. Because I'm willing to go back through that video and be like, yep, all those times I missed, could have killed him one turn earlier. But nope. Just go on through. Alright, this room is a familiar sight. There is, luckily, I know there's this treasure chest, I don't know if there's another, but the healing potion is welcome. There is another, okay, good. So you just go across, if you get lost, again, it's heading towards south, the red dot on the compass, so. The heroes drink, good, more MP recovery. And we go through this door, and we should be good. Alright. So we're just slowly climbing our way through the castle. That's basically a good sign. Is if you're climbing upstairs, you're going in the right direction. <sighs> just don't mind me. Just walking through. 
Here we go. Grab this. Oh. Okay. Just, yep. There we go. Grab this treasure chest. Mint leaves. Good. Not an HP healing item, but it'll have to do. Anyway, there's this room. This is what I like to call the treasury. There are five chests in here. Some of them are actually useful. Just grab all of them anyway. Because I think there's like, yeah, the silver amulet, there's like a decoy, I think. But just every single one. There's also, I know there's that spirit there. I don't know if there's one in the opposite corner. But don't have to worry about it. Dragon's Potion, yes. Alright, so this guy here, his name is Leonardo. I'm just call him Leto for, for short. But he tells us that our father Bartholomew has been talking to a remote hiding place. They so make it a time. Yada yada. But he is a save point. And that is highly important here. I'm actually going to make a new save file in case this goes terribly wrong. Continue save, yes. Nope. There we go. Alright. I'm actually doing pretty good on time. I'm going to keep going forward, maybe? I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, I'll go forward. I shall press on. Why not? Because I know what's coming up. I'm aware. So we'll just meander our way through, so... That save point, uh, spoiler alert, is actually the second to last. Uh, save point you'll have in the entire game. Now this is a nice little area. There's like some rubble for unknown reasons here. Just chilling for days. There's these two treasure chests. Grab them. They are our best friends. They will say hello. Here we go. Except that golden outlet. That's useless. So here's Shannon. And she's like, hello! She's like, you have grown stronger! And da 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 da. It's like... He's like, ah, life in danger. Challenging, yada, yada. But the most important thing is that Shannon tells us we can't actually escape. Uh, we can't escape the room. Uh, but this is our dad here. He's like, he's like, Brian, how'd you find me? It's a trap! Burr! Uh, but she's like, basically, uh, Shannon's, the, Shannon's a puppet. Puppet of evil plot basically happens and it doesn't make that much sense. But who figures that uh, the girl that's been in every single inn so far finally shows up at the end and is like, ha! I'm evil now! Baha! We're glad to know our father's not dead yet. Looked like he was dying, but it's fine. So this here is the boss battle. For sure. That's the king. Is it King Burgess? Vegas. Got it. Vegas. But, basically, the fire green guilty was supposed to kill us. And he's like, I am supreme. So we gotta just waltz over here. Cast a magic barrier. So he's got two attacks, I believe. He's got that long range attack, and then he's got... Uh, like a sword attack for a shorter range-ish. I'm actually going to use some of the giant's boots here so I can move a lot further. Mostly because I need to get closer to him. Just position myself for an avalanche. And it hits nothing. There we go. There's that attack. Let's try this again. Yes, there we go. Now, he's actually weak to... Earth magic, one of the perks that that we've gone through with this, with this particular build of magic. As long as you keep just a little bit of distance between you two. Okay, Vegas, I need you, I need you to cooperate with me. Just get hit by the giant rocks falling from the sky. I don't feel like it's a ridiculous claim. All right. So I'm actually going to go, where is that MP? Yes, use this one. And then cast another magic barrier. Okay. 
then we heal. It's about time I finally used the Ketland Healing Potion and it didn't heal me to full. Then Avalanche again. Oh, come on. At least we got our full use of Magic Barrier. Game? Oh, baby. Alright. Magic Barrier. Check. Free Magic Thing. Check. Uh, Mint Leaves, for sure. This is the healing... The healing round for us here. Gotta pull out all the stops here. Uh, oh, another potion here. Oh, good. Sweet. We cast an avalanche. Oh, good. Okay. This is fine. Magic barrier. Yep. Man, imagine if I had to do this without magic barrier. Just no way. Okay. Now, if we want to stop missing, that would be nice. Yes, yes. Come on. Give me some more hits. Magic Barrier has been actually doing really well. Normally, it just tries to just kill me. Alright. Come on. Okay. That was on call for, sir. I was pretty close to you. Okay, hang on. If I do the math, I can avalanche safely, heal. That should be good. Alright, he didn't die. It's unfortunate, but we do what we do. So, heal up. Oh, good. Okay. Slightly unfortunate in one regard, because I need to use an MP recovery so I can cast Magic Barrier again. Oh, that was good, actually. Was, we're looking for those kind of misses. Alright, and then Avalanche. Just, you know, just miss. That's fine. Don't worry. Just ignore the guy that's trying to kill me. Twice. It's perfectly fine. Alright. I am running out of options, game, so I need you to kind of just get rid of this guy for me. What?! You're doing this on purpose now, game. Like, when it comes to bad things, this is right up there. This is why I made a, a different save file, in case this goes terribly wrong. There you go, there's a hit. Thank you! Okay. Okay. So that is that. So, I will actually stop here. This is the final part that we're going to be going into. I'll do a whole safe state for this so I can resume this as normally, but uh, I will, we will do the last part of the game. This is, it's not quite over yet. I haven't actually recovered the Eltel book yet, so we will, we will go rescue that, save the world, yada yada next time. Uh, you all have a good day. I will see you next time. Take care.